What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to complete the 690 SMCR uh, mods. So this is pretty much all I have planned for this bike. And we finally received our Rottweiler intake um, right here. And that's the rest of the parts there. We have the Baratech um, LCD. Um, I have a, I'm debating about doing this one because um, I kind of want to keep the bike simple. But I know it's nice to have you know, an RPM monitor and, you know, your gear indicator, things like that. So, um, I, lately I've been kind of testing it out, see if, um, if I'm hunting gears because I don't know where I am, but not, not really. So I'm kind of 50, 50 on this, uh, mod right here. Um, I kind of want to eliminate a lot of, as much wires and complexities on the bike as much as possible. But, um, I mean, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see actually, cause I'm not really sure, uh, what to do with this one because I already bought it you know might as well put it on and I'm already on the, you know along the way but the bike's going to be stripped down to get the intake out um uh, secondary air um uh the remove the canister and things like that um yeah so we'll see if it's in the video then you'll it is but if not we're going to focus on the header the dyno jet power commander the intake and the SAS delete, I gotta find that in the case here somewhere. But that's pretty much it, what we're doing today. So we're gonna get started. And um, yeah, you guys wanna follow along. All right guys, so I wanna give you guys just a quick look before I move too further ahead. I have stripped the bike uh, of the fairings. Uh, it's over there on the side. I just uh, started this um, unscrewing all the all the the bolts that's holding the, the air box. I've done this before in a previous video. If you guys searched on my, uh, I think I did a more uh, detailed walkthrough because I was doing it for the first time. But for the sake of this video, this is my second 690 701. So it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I don't want to kind of duplicate, but I'm removing this air box. I'm going to do the SAS delete. So it's going to be the same mods as last time. I'm working on the SAS valve here. We're gonna remove the canister. Uh, we're gonna trace the lines. We're gonna do all that stuff, um, all that good stuff. So um, let's see what's back here. Yeah, nothing. Just a, yeah. So we're gonna work on that, and then um, I just want to uh, take you guys along. It's it, it looks a little bit different because, um, but it's the same bike. So um, it's gonna be the same parts. SAS um, block off goes there. Uh, canister removed. We're gonna put the full exhaust system, so we don't need that anymore. All right, guys. So I stopped working on the air box because I, because everything's like overlapping here. So I have the header. Um, I installed the header, removed the stock one right here, and I just noticed that um, I didn't order the O2 sensor um, block off there. But for this setup, I'm using the Dyno Dyno Jet Power Commander. It comes with a fueling dongle, so I won't need my O2 sensor. But since I, it's in order, I'm gonna have to put this back in there to to block off this hole, and then we're just gonna zip tie this somewhere just so that it, there's no hole there, so I can still ride the bike. But that's on order. I just ordered it right now. Um, I take a little bit. So and then once it's done, I'll just unscrew it again and then um, put the plug in. But so far everything's fitting right. Um, everything's loose right now. I'm just every, everything's trying to. I'm just trying to fit the exhaust. And then uh, we're gonna move on to the airbox. The airbox is over here. As you can see there, I already removed it. Uh, it's a pretty easy install. It's just a lot, of, a lot of them are overlapping because while you're working on the airbox, there's the SAS delete happening at the same time. The dyno jet is happening at the same time and the header exhaust is happening at the same time. So um, it's a lot going on. So um, I'm gonna button this up. Just at least this one's done. I'm gonna reserve, actually, I decided to reserve the um, um, the Compan um, dash kit to maybe later on um, when I did my do my first service maybe I'll just ask the um, my mechanic to do that because frankly I'm kind of it's the the instructions are not very good it's in German so I don't want to you have to splice a wire so I don't um, like I said when I keep telling this on on video I'm not comfortable doing elect uh, electricals so I don't want to splice the wrong wire and because the instructions are not very clear. Um, the, this one, there is, there are people that have installed this uh, in YouTube, on YouTube, but this this updated unit here uh, is more updated than those videos because this one has um, the gear selector uh, indicator, and the only instructions uh, on YouTube is using a 701, and it's in German, 
So um, I, for this, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna focus on the Rottweiler stuff, performance stuff here. We'll do the um, the install of the dash uh, on another one. So let's focus on this one. I installed the new header gasket uh, for the header, and there's a new head uh, the new ga gasket for the, the the muffler here. It's still pretty new from the last time we did the install. So that's all good. Uh, it's gonna sound so good. I don't know if the the sound is gonna change, but right now um, this is the stock one. There's not not a whole lot of change. Um, I don't see much of a difference. I'm looking into this. There's not much restrictions on this one to begin with. It's just I just kind of want like a matching set, you know. So now you have a full arrow system. So. Um, it, sound wise, oh, I'm gonna remove the baffle. I was running baffles before, so now I'm gonna remove the baffle with the Dino Jet Power Commander running. It should be okay, so that might change the sound a little bit. So, all right. All right, YouTube, so I just finished um, assembling the intake kit, Rottweiler intake kit. It's a lot of screws, so I have the oxygen sensor here, put the screws on that. The velocity stack, screws on that, very small not uh, nylock nuts to to grab the those screws and then this one is a little tough this hose is kind of stiff and then yeah i mean it's it's pretty straightforward uh, easy easy instructions rottweiler um youtube videos super instructional uh super helpful and i got the boot on here this is the one that's going to go into uh, the throttle body i'm going to put the hose on uh, hose clamp on that so it's just a matter of lining it up now so uh let's get to it I just finished um, sneak, uh, sneaking in the uh, SAS delete. I just removed the canister right here, and it came with a bunch of tubes. Also, the the air um, recirculating system, the solenoid, all this stuff that's not needed on the bike anymore. This is the drain tube. Um, you have to kind of fish the uh, the drain from the tank up there, trace it, and then there's like a Y. There's like a wide junction here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really dark, sorry, right there. So now it, right, you can see it's now straight. So you just go straight down. It used to be a Y because the other, the other route goes into the, to the SAS and then goes back into the system. And then there's like a bunch of wires in between here. You see there's like a hole here now. That's where all these junk was. So now that you can, you kind of have like, so you simplified it. What, what's, that's kind of the purpose of the SAS. Um, and you know, less stuff on the bike. Right now what I'm doing that's taking a lot of time is wire management. So um, since we removed a lot of stuff, um, I'm, I'm also installing the, the power commander up here. I'm trying to route the wires. What takes a lot of time, and th this is super easy install, really. If you, I just remembered how I did this and um, <laughs> I was kind of getting lazy. I don't want to do it, but like now that I rem remember, um, building a computer is much more complicated than this. It's just the wire management, same as building a computer. It, it just takes so long because it's up it's up to you. It's whatever you want to do. If you don't want to manage the wires, just plug everything in and it's quick. But for me, I want to know where everything goes and I, I want to know what I've done. So it's easier to see what's been changed. So I'm taking my time doing the wire management here, um, routing the DinoJet Power Commander properly around the frame, zip tying them. Um, I still have to figure out how to you know hide these things and secure them. Um, I got the block off plates here now, as you can see, the Rottweiler there, and then the intake is getting ready to be pushed in once um, the DinoJet is settled and wired, because that's like on the top of everything, so that's that's where we're at. Um, it's a lot, like I said, it's a lot of moving pieces. It's it's three different installs, the exhaust, in, DinoJet, air, 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 yeah, the, the air intake, it's just, you're juggling it, it's hard to convey it on the video. Um, so yeah, so here we, here we are and uh, we're moving along. So plugged in, all the coils are plugged in, in line over here, two coils. And we have the throttle position sensor here, all these <laughs> pigtails. <coughs> this, now this part is the hard part, like I said, wire management. So. We're gonna put the in, there, we have a lot of space here, but we can't really use it because the wires are pre-length, pre-adjusted. So we're gonna do what we can. I snug this in um, on the throttle body right now. The boot is in there. 
So just tucking in all the wire, the wires. I'm not gonna do a, a um, I'm gonna start it first, but I'm gonna put everything on and then start it first. Of course, make sure everything starts before we we fine tune it, you know, and like seal it up. But um, we're pretty much actually done. It's just a matter of uh, you know making sure everything is tight and uh, all the tolerances are 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 acceptable. So um, I wanna start it before it gets dark, and I don't wanna make it too loud. Oh, I for almost forgot. I should I should remove this baffle now. So. All right, guys, so here it is, first start. Um, I'm gonna just spend time later on buttoning it up, uh, checking all the wiring, but everything so far is connected. And power commander's here. I don't know, where, <laughs> I honestly don't know how I did that before. Fitting in, in here, I, I, I just, I don't see a way. It's not, it's the same size as before. It's newer, um, this is a six. It's the same size. I, I might have to hide it somewhere else, somewhere maybe somewhere down there. It just doesn't fit in this area, in this uh, space right here. So I have the ECU plugged in, air filter, um, all the plugs. It's super simple. It's really, I don't think I missed anything. So that baffles out. Let's hear it. Uh, everything is good. I don't, I don't hear any weird errors. All right, let's go. That is super loud so I have to actually button it up and ride it and see actually see what actual difference is but it, it's it's wilder sounding it's um, there's that one that high-pitched tone at the end there I don't know if that's the um, I don't know if that's the header but uh, I gotta make sure there's no leaks or anything I don't think so I I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time on it um, let it sit cool down uh, and the next day maybe tomorrow uh, I will kind of ride ride along and see if, if I notice anything, but uh, yeah, right now it's just everything looks solid. Um, I don't see anything that's that could be wrong. There's more room in the engine bay now to, to see stuff. Um, that's why I love this bike. It's just so easy to work on. Um, but the um, the compan thing is just uh, I did not attempt it because, like I said, I was feeling kind of lazy. This one already took me. Quite a bit of time, so um, I'll just save that for the um, the mechanic because, like, like I said, I, I'm kind of lazy nowadays. <laughs> uh, the compound is um, I'm still 50 50 on it. I like the simply so basically, I'm gonna introduce more wiring if I add that thing. It, it's really nice, uh, you know, to know what gear you're in, but at the same time, lately I haven't been hunting gears and forgetting where I am, it's, so it's just I'm not really sure if I really need it. So. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, 
I'm for sure probably gonna install it because I already have it. A waste of money. Just I bought it for no reason. It's not cheap. It was like two hundred dollars, I think. So it's kind of cool to have another display here because this display is kind of boring. So there's there's that. But I, I I just you know simple sometimes simplicity just wins. It's just better overall. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, put all the plastics back, clean up the garage, um, go for a ride, and see if I can put that on the next video. Um, I, I need to hook up like my my sound recorder for this one, so you guys can have a a nicer um, sound quality because the the GoPro just doesn't do it. Okay, so uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, all right, so I'm I'm gonna go button this up and then I'll close out the video. All right, guys. So it's finally nighttime. Sorry if it's dark. Um, right now it's buttoned up. Everything is is good to go. Um, I still have to do some wire management just to check everything. But I actually saw that there's space here. So when I put the seat down, it doesn't um, it doesn't kind of push down all the way here. So it's actually kind of cool. So I could put it just just right there. It's it's, per it's just perfect. It's just right there. So everything you see, everything, all the components. Uh, you have so much room to work. You just take off this uh, foam filter. You just have so much room to work. You look at all this gaping space here. You're supposed to put a bag here, you know, if you want. An extra fuel tank, you could, you know, like a canister here connected to your vacuum, to your um, to your fuel there. I mean, you could you could get an extra tank, but I don't need it. This is a, mainly a track bike, city bike for me. So, but yeah, um, yeah, so far that's it. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I didn't do the <laughs> the dash, but I, I'll save that for the next video. But for for this, uh, I guess I'll give you guys some insight. It it it's really it is challenging to do because um, you don't know where to stop. You know, you're in the middle of one install. If you're doing the SAS and then the intake and then exhaust um, and and di and the power commander, it's all like intertwined into each other. So you just kind of have to take your time, um, see where you're comfortable stopping. Um, I would say the SAS. Uh, the SAS is related to the intake because you're gonna disconnect like a hose that's ne nearby, and then um, the DynoJet Power Commander is also related because you can connect, start connecting. Because so basically, before you button up the intake, do the SAS, do your do your all the the exhaust. Actually, the exhaust can can be done first because that's separate from it, of everything. Do the exhaust first. Um, assemble your intake, your Rottweiler intake, assemble it, don't put it on yet. Um, do the SAS, uh, and then do the power commander, and then put this on top. So that's what I would have done, because this this can easily come off and on. It's, it's literally just held by um, two bolts on the side here. Um, this is the new seat bracket. So there used to be a plastic seat bracket here, the OEM one. Now this is where the um, the seat is um, sitting so this is really strong um, and yeah so just that's it and then it's clamped down here um, on a on a boot intake boot and that's that's pretty much it. it's super simple so I just have to kind of tidy this up I have a lot of loose wires because I cut a lot of zip ties um, I'm waiting on uh, so I did route my the the O2 sensor the O2 sensor is still connected, as you can see there, just to block off the header. Um, and I, I'm going to replace that as soon as I get the, the, um, the 12 millimeter block off. And I have to oil my air filter because, yeah, this is, you can't, uh, dust will come, will go in here without, if you don't oil it. So that's, that's kind of the point of oiling it. Um, what else can I do? So see right now you're, you have a lot of room here now. So there, this is where it used to be the the SAS canister it used to be right here. Now you have a Rottweiler um, a boot there, uh, Rottweiler block off plate there. Um, I I'm not really satisfied with my the drain hose that I made. I used one of the the skinny ones. Um, the original one is a thick one. It's the same uh, hole diameter, the inner diameter, the hole is the same, but it's just the outer is, is, is thicker. I don't know, I mean, if that's a functionality thing, but now it's slimmer in here, so it doesn't get hit by anything, really. It's, it's, so it's that one right there. There's a junction there. I'm, I'm not totally satisfied with it because um, they give you like a, a barb 
so like a straight barb because the original one is a Y um, split barb and now it's a straight from just the drain all the way down to under the bike. I, I kind of want like what I want to do is actually I want to just get one long line and go all the way straight down. So I don't want this. I don't want this junction here. It's just my it's just my personal thing. Um, yeah, I I don't I don't like that. So that's one of those things. So basically, right now I'm just gonna be assessing wire, like I said, wiring, wire management, and and things like that. But it's a su super simple bike, so that's really all there is to it. Um, that's all the, the air box on on that junk. So I'm gonna put the seat back on now and end this video. Hopefully, that's some helpful insight for you guys. Um, I think I I don't know if I said more on my. 701 video, but for this one, this is my second go around with this But it's like some years in between so um, I did forget what I did so but um, anyway um, Yeah, pretty satisfied with the result the sound uh, Yeah, I just I need to I need to write it. I need to write it and um, Discuss this has to be ready by track day track season, which is in a couple of months so I just, like I said, everything's done up, suspension, performance, um, right now, brakes, uh, brakes, I did the, the brake fluid, brake pads, I don't know what else to do, um, I think the seat's good, uh, tires, I'll, 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 I'll try to stock tires for now and see what happens with that, um, I, I did see that, uh, uh, what do you call this? Con Continental. I think they came out with the Conti Attack SM tubes, the second generation. I think I don't see it for sale yet, but it's been announced. Um, there's there, yeah, so I'm just gonna work on this thing. There's there's, there's some things that I want to change. I want to wiggle wiggle around and readjust. So that's just really what it is. Um, final touches, and uh, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll, I'll reply to you. Give you help. Help you out. I'm sure you, you can figure this out. This is super easy. Super easy. It's just uh, sometimes you need some insight on a couple of things. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. That'll be the uh, something to do with the, the Gallardo and the whole smog situation. So stay tuned for that too.